Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and today we're speaking about relationships. It's great to have friends and you may have the best friend or close friends, good or old friends. And if you can't say that the person is your friend, it's just someone who you know, that is your acquaintance. And the opposite of the word friend is the word enemy. When you're talking about some fellow members of a group or a team, you can use the word mate. For example, a classmate is someone you study with, a workmate someone you work with. If you share a flat with someone, this person becomes your flatmate, and in some unfortunate situations, people become cellmates when they go to prison. The synonyms of the word workmate are colleague and co-worker. A subordinate or junior to someone is the person who is lower in rank or in a position within a company or a team. And if the person is higher in rank, he or she is the boss, the chief, superior or senior to someone else in the company. For example, Pete says, Jack is my subordinate, Jack is my junior, I'm senior to Jack. Jack says, Pete is my chief. Pete is my senior, I'm junior to Pete. When you start going out with someone or date someone, you become a boyfriend or a girlfriend. And when you are together, people say that you are a couple, twosome, or that you are partners. For example, Pete is dating Mary. Pete is going out with Mary. Pete and Mary are together. And when your romantic relationships get really very serious, you get married. You become a husband or a wife. And there is one word which means both, is the word spouse. And if you want to know how to use the words marry, get married, be married correctly, please click on the link above and check out another video that I made where I explain that in detail. To cheat on somebody means to secretly be in a relationship with someone other than your husband, wife or partner. And to have an affair with someone is when two people who are not married to each other have a relationship, mostly based on sex. For example, he's cheating on Mary, he has an affair with her friend. People often experience relationship problems. They argue or have a row with each other, fall out with each other or you can say, have a difficult relationship with each other. For example, Mary fell out with Sarah and they are not speaking now. Yesterday they had a terrible row. They have argued a lot recently. Jack has a difficult relationship with his parents. When people decide not to be in a relationship anymore, they break up or split up with each other. When they separate, it means that they are officially still married but not living together. And the official end of the relationship is called divorce. Some examples for you. She broke up with her boyfriend last week. She split up with her boyfriend last week. Or they have just split up. Another variant, they have just broken up. When everything is fine between people, we can say that they get on well with each other, they are on good terms with each other, or they have a good relationship. And we say we are in a good relationship when we mean romantic things. For example, the kids are on good terms with their parents. Jack is getting on well with his parents. I have good relationships with my colleagues. Sarah and Pete are in a good relationship. Ok, let's now talk about love and hate. When you love someone very much, you can say that you idolize, worship or adore this person. And the opposites are dislike, hate, can't stand, and loathe. And there is more vocabulary on love and hate, likes and dislikes in my video Describe your feelings and emotions in English. To watch it, click on the link above. And some examples. He idolized his mother. 
the kids worship their math teacher. I adore my friends. She couldn't stand her new neighbors. She loathed him after the divorce. When you respect someone, you can also say that you look up to someone or admire someone. And the opposites are disrespect, look down on someone, or despise someone. For example, a lot of children look up to famous football players. I admired him for his courage. They despise their new neighbor. Mary thought her colleagues looked down on her. This is all I wanted to tell you about relationships and if you find this video useful, please give me a thumb up. If you have any questions, write them in comments and subscribe to my channel.